Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean, episode 330, today's date, June 9, 2022. Uh, I last put this together on June 2nd, uh, and before it was published, uh, some kind of cyber attack occurred. I know it uh uh, affected uh, a lot of uh, YouTubers and uh, it not only took down the channels and took away the channels, I no longer have access to my old uh, YouTube channel. So I'm going to ask everyone to subscribe to this main channel. That's a new main channel. It's the same name, but it's new. Billy Bean, because the old one went away. And uh, it also destroyed equipment, and so I had to get a new c computer. I know other people who commented on it are Dutch Sense, Wedges of the World, and On the Fringe, I mean, the same time. So I have new, uh, a new main channel, and this is the only channel I'll be using uh, for quite a while, it's the only one uh, I can access and put up different things like Truth by Billy Bean and Bible by Billy Bean and Beauty by Billy Bean, other things I do, will be on this main channel. So I'd like for all my subscribers, my Patriot subscribers all across the world to subscribe. Thanks, like, subscribe, and share to my new channel and so some of the things we'll be covering today oh and god is bringing forth a new way of distinguishing what is truth and not truth in today's uh, episode it'll be about some economic information from jim willie okay so some of my sources are god in the bibles patriot subscribers Paul Begley, Mike from around the world, Gene Dakota, Galactic Talk, Amazing Polly, Alex, Alexander Macaras, Alex Christoforo, Jacob Dreesen, Patrick Lancaster, Awakening Cosmic Reality, Dabu77, and on Before It's News, uh, Jim Willie, Benjamin Fulford, an interview of 107 by Na David Nino Rodriguez, Amazing Polly was also on before its news. Israeli News Live, Reality 365, uh, Nick Veneman and his interview of a, uh, Mr. Mahoney. Uh, and so we'll be talking about different topics. Okay, I have new channels. Yep. Okay, so now we'll get started and cover uh, some things going on in Ukraine also. This still big news. Okay, I have Patriot subscribers about the Uvalde school shooting. The day of the shooting, the school was closed. The local police no longer are participating in the invest investigation. We live in dystopia. Patriot subscriber uh, in ca from Canada, General Trevor Cadeau was retired before he went to Ukraine. Therefore, mercenary. I have a Patriot subscriber who says um, they ran the Sandy Hook ads for crisis actors days before the Uvalde school shooting. And we all know the truth. The only thing that stands between us and FEMA camps is the Second Amendment. Stand firm. The best is yet to come. I have a Patriot subscriber who said, On TV news, I saw two dads, and they were crying, and they had a picture of a little boy, and it was the same little boy. Talking about the Uvalde school shooting and crisis actors. Patriot subscriber and the uh, uh, Munich Security Conference in 2021, they were talking about monkeypox and a military exercise. So some kind of security conference in Germany in 2021. And usual suspects allegedly were there. Ted Turner, Bill Gates, yeah. 
I'll be cover giving some information about that. All right, Uvalde school shooting. Before May 30, uh, the Salvador Ramos had a new truck and he crashed it. And he had thousands of dollars of um, expensive weapons. And uh, the police in Uvalde did training for a stand down. All right. As a Patriot subscriber, Jesus did not say, did say, I prepare a new place for you. You will do greater things than I. And talking about telepathy, telekinesis. Yeah. Jesus did all those things. All right. I have some information from, this is from the Freeport, Texas. We have a big port here. And um, Dow has a lot of plants here and other plants. And so this is a new report from John Haas, the commissioner of the port of Freeport, Texas. They had an LNG, that's a liquid uh, gas carrier. And uh, it left Freeport, Texas on May 2nd and arrived in South Korea on June 3rd, about a month. And it was operated autonomously. They did have a full crew aboard. But this is the first time they had an LNG uh, cargo ship operating autonomously. Just, you know, by computer and with no... The humans were there in case they were needed, but they weren't needed. And so that's going down. And uh, John says, the Port of Freeport is on the cutting edge. Okay, I had some information from... This is uh, Jim Willie, and I'll explain this to you. This is... I will say with this new uh, computer, I have a bigger... A bigger camera, so I'm going to have to get a bigger board. I think I like this. All right. So now what God is doing, about 10 years ago, he gave me uh, different symbols that I would just see in my mind when I was hearing information or maybe uh, if I was looking at TV and seeing someone speak. Or uh, I don't think this ever happened with a real person. Maybe someone on TV, and definitely when I would be listening to, like, the uh, Internet. Okay, so I would see the symbols in my mind, and they were different colors, and then uh, <clears throat> one indicated truth, another one indicated lying and knows it, and the other one uh, indicated lying but believes it's truth because the person speaking has been deceived. So, uh, just since my computer went down, God gave, uh, gave uh, me, uh, and it, this is not something I control. It just comes to me. And, and like I said, it's been 10 years ago. These came and went for maybe a few months so I could learn what they were. And nothing's happened since then. But recently, God said, yeah, this is truth. And this has to do with some information from Jim Lilly, Ph.D. economist from Costa Rica. His uh, site is goldenjackass.com. He has a newsletter, Hattrick. He does a uh, global economy. And uh, what Jim said was the golden dragon family which has gold plus and are the bankers and the white dragon family who also have a lot of gold and are the diplomats. So these two uh, uh, elite ruling families, and Benjamin Fulford talks about uh, the Chinese families quite a bit, and I've heard other economists talk about this group before. Okay, so now Jim was giving out this information, and it didn't mean anything to me. I, usually on economic news, uh, 
since I discovered when I was young, none of it's real. I mean, the best you can do is know what are the parameters and be able to predict that. Well, now God said, mm -mm, truth. So I could see the symbol in my head and the shape and color would go from blurry to solid and then back and forth. So I take it to be truth, but it's in flux. And so it has to do with these two families and they have a lot of gold. And this is the way I understood what Jim was talking about. So these two families and this would affect, this would be Russia, China, Asia, plus, and um, other, other nations, not the West, not the U.S., not Europe. Okay, so they have all this gold, and what they're going to do is uh, bring in this QFS, the like Quantum Financial System, uh, and it's going to be in, you know, these areas, but not in the West. And the QFS for the West, which would be the U.S. and Europe, is going to take time to get in place because the deep state is still in place in many areas. So God is saying there's truth in this. It's in flux that the Golden Dragon family and the White Dragon family and uh, many areas, uh, a lot of areas that are currently on the SIPs, uh, that's the financial system to transfer money internationally between banks that doesn't, that's outside of SWIFT. And the SWIFT's old SWIFT system is what the U.S. and Europe are currently on. So there's going to be two different financial systems running simultaneously one on QFS and the other one not on QFS so all right now I know that Benjamin Fulford had uh, mentioned uh, the dragon families the golden dragon and white dragon families about one month ago and he said they're not going to invest in the West and the U.S. as long as J.B., the actor, is in place. So we see things are working, aren't they? Uh, here and there. And also, I want to make this point that both Jim Willie and Benjamin Fulford is a Canadian journalist, lives in Japan, he worked for Forbes for about 20 years and currently continues to live in Japan and works with the um, many of the elite families on a global basis. Okay, now both of these economists, uh, uh, Benjamin Fulford and uh, Jim Willey, now Jim Willey's an economist, I think ben Benjamin knows a lot about the uh, uh, economy, but he, he's a journalists but but both of them mentioned an individual named neil cayman or that's as phonetically close as i could come and that he was murdered some years ago and both of them uh knew him and talked with him and then he went away and a substitute was put in his place and both Benjamin Fulford and Jim Willie both interacted with the new individual and knew it wasn't the same guy. Now, for some reason, within the last couple of weeks, they're both talking about this guy, and I couldn't find anything on the Internet about him. So, that's going on. All right. Now, David Nino Rodriguez interviewed... 107, who brought out some really interesting information that a lot of the Patriot subscribers all across America are going to find. Mm -hmm. uh, this may be a burn, baby, burn, hot, hot summer. In September, 
the states legally can destroy all the evidence for the November 2020 event. So that's coming in September. What do we think is going to happen in the summer? And I personally know all across the United States, there are many militias made up of ex-military and local patriots. Uh, and part of the reason was a response to a military exercise, Jade Helm. That happened in 2015. The military uh, practicing lockdown on the American people. The only problem is that after the exercise, the soldiers, E1 to E9, the soldier level, said no go. And for me, I've long known if the deep state tried to use the military or even uh, glo uh, across the United States uh, law enforcement to lock down the American people, that it would destroy both the U.S. military and uh, law enforcement. Because a certain percentage of citizens, uh, patriots inside the military and law enforcement would not cooperate. Okay, Jean Decode, and I had a question on who is Jean Decode. He was in the uh, Navy for about 25 years, a nuclear sub engineer, but in uh, 1992, he had 30 minutes with God, during which God downloaded to Jean the next 1,000 years. Now I have another Patriot subscriber who had a similar event in 1986. Her face-to-face -face with God was 20 minutes, and she supports many of the things that Jean says she can corroborate, and some of the things Jean brought out uh, matched up with the information God had given me when I was young. So that's who Jean is. Now Jean, oh yeah, and when you have these face-to-face -face with God, you speak truth. Okay, talking about the gold that's in Thailand and the Philippines. And this is part of that Asian gold that would uh, come under the auspices of the Golden Dragon family and the White Dragon family. Okay, so the deep state tried to steal it in the 1990s. And where did they take it? They did steal it, and they moved it. And where did they take it? They took it to Mariupol, Ukraine. Why do you think they were fighting so hard to maintain that location in Ukraine? Well, Russia, and now the Alliance has that. So, okay. Now, Amazing Polly brought out some information about frequencies that relates to the Uvalde school shooting. And she was talking about an incident that happened in Rwanda and Africa in 2003 that involved the Hutus and the Tutsis. And I remember that, and I found it very strange that these two tribes were slaughtering and massacring one another. Okay. Deep State tested out their microwave frequency weapon in this instance. And what they did was uh, there were leaders of both tribes, the Hutu and Tutsis, on a plane, and the shadow CIA crashed the plane and killed them all. Then there was this big meeting that uh, the Shadow CIA arranged, and they were using a lot of rhetoric there. And then they um, opened up a microwave uh, weapon that increased frequencies to see what would be the effect. The effect was the two groups killed one another. All right, so that was the Shadow CIA testing out their microwave frequency weapon. Another uh, time that this happened was in the 2010s, 
the beginning of the Arab Spring, recall an individual set himself on fire. And I thought, how strange that is. Well, he was actually uh, under the um, control of the shadow CIA using a skull, uh, voice to skull frequency weapon. And Amazing Polly believes that a similar weapon was used to trigger the shooter at, in the Uvalde school shooting, Salvador Ramos. Okay, Nick Veneman recently interviewed David Mahoney. So, this was about the Uvalde school shooting. David says, children did die, but what I'm seeing now is uh, no one can find any birth certificates for these children. And he's saying that Salvador Ramos received thousands of dollars, and he bought really expensive body armor and scope for about 10000 He had an F-250 worth about 70000 and that um, the dates, uh, the date of the shooting was uh, some kind of tribute to a deep state satanic ritual. The date. I have Reality Three Six Five saying that on March twenty second at a high school in Uvalde is when a practice drill was done for uh, a school shooting, and that. Law enforcement, yeah, it's being investigated why they waited an hour to go in the school. And the deep state plan did not work. Okay. I have Patriot uh, News did an interview with Jean DeCode. And this has to do with who and the World Economic Forum or WEF, W-E-F, usually thousands attend, and this year it was 2022, 300 attended, and they control the UN, who uh, control about 94, they don't control it, but they have access to 94% of global population by the nations, and they undo God's laws and use propaganda, and God recently in, in our series was talking about the watch out for stereotypes and propaganda. And for some reason, the deep state puts out this propaganda. They require the approval of the people. And uh, Gene Dakota, of course, is saying JV, the actor, uh, does not have the authority to do anything with who. And... Uh, many of these individuals we're hearing about are already passed away, most of them in 2019, or have been arrested. Bill Gates, George Soros, Ted Turner, Obama, JB, the flesh and blood JB, the Clintons, HRC, plus. So when you're hearing about these people, especially in the news, they're doing this or that, they're not alive. These are clones or doubles or CGI. They're not real people. And currently, uh, we have sources for this, and Dr. William Mount has uh, consistently uh, puts this out. There is no JB. There is no Congress. And there is no Supreme Court. When you're hearing, oh, they're going to pass this in Congress and do this in Supreme Court, that's lies. They're not operating. They're... <laughs> We have no functioning government. We do have the military in control of a certain percentage, but there's also a lot of our military that's under the black hats. All right, so that's the problem. Now, Jean Dakota is bringing this out. Recently at the Geneva airport, there was uh, an explosion uh, recent and at the end of May, and that was actually uh, perpetrated by the special forces from Russia as a warning to Davos. Because currently in Ukraine, and I wondered about that in my last 
session because the way I was interpreting things, there had to be deep state forces fighting there. Yeah. Gene DeCoe, deep state special forces are inside Ukraine fighting the Russians at Kherson. And there's a lot going on. I'll be covering that at Kherson and Snake Island. And now we're finding out there was a lot of that deep state gold uh, in place at Maripol, which Russia now has, and the deep state wants it. All right, so we have Benjamin Fulford now bringing forth some more information. He's saying that uh, JB, the actor, uh, the placeholder, will be out soon, and other sources are saying that also. And uh, with this information coming out with 107, that in September all the states can destroy all the evidence, the, uh, the paper records, the digital records of everything that happened in November of 2020. Yeah, I think this summer is going to be... Uh, what's going to uh, take place. President Trump will have to come back. Okay. Benjamin Fulford is saying that Jeff Bezos is a white hat now on the alliance and that WAPO is finally telling some truth and that is that in Ukraine the military and government are on the verge of collapsing and that the deep state had planned to rule the world from Kazakhstan and Ukraine. Now, we recall, as reported by Cliff High a few months ago, Kazakhstan, the people went into full revolt, and they took over Kazakhstan. And now you, we see what's going on in Ukraine. And Benjamin Fulford is reporting, so all these groups are losing their power. Davos, who? the UN and he's hearing that in Ukraine there's uh, the possibility of a military coup versus Zelensky I believe it was Gonzalo Lira a couple of weeks ago also reported on that and what uh, Benjamin is hearing about monkeypox is it's shingles so now we have China. Now, something's going on with China's military. And Benjamin is saying that China is on a full war footing. All right. War footing. And what is going on is that China is now locating and attempting to prosecute individuals who killed in 2020 about 50 million Chinese. Now, I reported on that. That was my first uh, uh, YouTube channel. I'm now on my third YouTube channel. Okay, in 2020, uh, Jim Woolley had information, Mike from around the world, Cliff High, about what was going on in China. And because by about March, uh, I was beginning to look into um, what was going on. And, um, and, and Benjamin Fulford reported that uh, this is the first uh, spring of 2020 that the crematoriums were working, <coughs> excuse me, uh, overtime and putting out so much smoke you could see it by with satellites from the sky and Jim Willie and Mike from around the world were re reporting millions uh, tens of millions of Chinese were no longer using their cell phones and in China you everyone uses their cell phone your money your phone your locks to get in your apartment everything is in this one device your vehicle so, if you don't have your cell phone, you're not alive. And I reported on a combination of factors that went on there. Some of them involved the Bill Gates Foundation uh, giving pharma to the arm to the Chinese people uh, and all of the Asian countries several years before 2020. And then the we know the... Uh, 
virus was released, but also in China, Huawei turned on their towers. And the reports were that people were falling dead in the streets. So China now is going to the White Hats in China, Chairman Z, is going to pr uh, prosecute uh, taking up the deep state individuals who caused the deaths of these 50 million Chinese. So that's going on. Now, Benjamin Fulford is saying that the um, fake Pope Francis, the real one, passed away in 2019. Okay. And he's saying this, that he believes the white hats inside the U.S. are getting ready for a military takeover in the U.S., because, and he sees a move to place as a new national security commander, retired Admiral John Kirby, as being a move toward the military taking over in the U.S. Okay. And uh, he's also saying their avatars, well, we know about Gavin Newsom, as saying he tested positive again, and it's understood that when people test positive, they've uh, most likely been arrested. And he's saying the same is true for Fresno Mayor uh, Jeremy Dyer, Beverly Hills Mayor John Teckenberg, uh, SAPD Police Chief William McManus, Congress Dean Phillips, Scotland First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf, a Dodgers broadcaster Jamie Jaron, and Charlie Steiner, Detroit Tigers reliever Will Vest. So, that concludes the news from Benjamin for the last few weeks. Now, Judy Byington is saying this of the Pentagon, that the generals are discussing, and Real Raw News is also carrying this, the strategy for arresting the deep state. And this is current, this, this month. And so since in September, we understand all the evidence is going to be destroyed. This summer, these arrests have to be completed. Now, so Judy is saying also about China, that they're moving their military to the borders of China. And also, they're putting uh, war sh Chinese warships in 60 countries. So, I mean, some people are alleging they're getting ready to invade Taiwan. I, I don't think you would spread out your military like that if you were getting ready to invade a nation. No, I see it different ways, and I think one of the prospects could be uh, some kind of earth changes. You would spread your military out on your borders, Spread your warships out globally at many nations. If you thought some e cosmic event was going to affect the entire Earth, you would spread out your military. I'm looking at it as a possibility. Now, at the Texas border, we have, according to multiple sources, so at the Texas border, 12 thousand armed illegals and supposedly they're armed with AK-47s and we have according to General Berger with the Pentagon we have local citizen militias organizing 
under the white hats, but the white hats, the white hats are not being named. Rather, what's being put forth is that citizen patriots organized in militias, and I personally know this is uh, true across Texas and across the United States, are now going to go to the Texas border to defend the Texas border against these 12,000 armed uh, illegals. So now we'll have to keep up with that. And uh, about the food shortage, Judy Bankton is saying 56 plus food processing plants and other uh, facilities related to food have caught on, most of them have caught on fire. 56 this year. Recently, it was a big egg, chicken egg farm I heard about. Now, Judy is saying that food is going to be down, food production, uh, by the fall of 2022, and it will last until 2023. I personally don't believe we're facing a food shortage. And I tend to believe that Many of these facilities are being taken down and destroyed by the White Hats because of certain things going on that have poisoned our food supply. Russia had already done this inside Russia about five years ago. Okay. Jacob Dreesen. Now, Jacob is a Army military uh, analyst and he's talking about what's going on in Ukraine now let me draw you a map we have inside Ukraine we have Crimea we have Luhansk uh, Donetsk this is the two um, independent republics initially. We had uh, when Russia came in. In this area, we have Kherson. We have Snake Island. And we have uh, Moldova. We have Trinista right here. This small area inside Moldova is actually a Russian uh, uh, part of Russia. People speak Russian. Russian troops are here. Now, what Jacob is saying is, we have Kiev over here, Lviv right here. All right. Is that... Uh, Russia has successfully opened one land bridge, and that's across uh, this area all the way down to Crimea. They have the roads open. They have the rail running. Now they're in the process of opening a second land bridge all the way down to Tranista. And in Servo Donetsk, uh, the Ukraine, about a week ago, Russia, uh, the Ukraine was out of the area of Servodonetsk. Russia was in control of the residential area. And uh, the Ukraine army was trying to bring in new militia. Uh, and but they were still retreating. They retreated from 60% of the, this area into a smaller area. But they were still bringing in some troops. Ukraine was. Russia is also bringing in reserves. Yeah. 
Now, Ukraine was bringing in to the smaller area in Servodonetsk what they call uh, the National Guard, individuals with a certain philosophy from World War II Germany. And Jacob Dreesen predicts the fate of the bulge, and which is a military term for troops in a, a bulge, trying to move forward into an area. But the, the loss uh, is not accepted by Ukraine plus military groups, but Russia is pushing back on this. And uh, the Ukraine would need two times uh, the manpower they currently have there to, to effectively do anything. Okay, so Jacob Dreesen's analysis of the retreat of the Ukraine troops into a smaller area is that it just increases the number of targets in a smaller area which is beneficial to Russia. Okay, so now we have, we have Ale Alexander Makaras. He's a journalist out of England. He's talking about the land bridge to Crimea is complete. And they have the roads and the rails running. And uh, they, Russia is in control of the server Donetsk airport and all residential areas. And Russia has crossed the servo Donetsk River and they are freely moving troops and equipment across the river. And that Russia controls Kherson and Zepohunesk. And Russia now has 40,000 troops in North Donbass and the Ukraine military is out of troops and equipment. Now, he's talking about, here is Luhansk, Donetsk, there's Izium, there's Slova Donetsk, and Kramatorsk. So this has been a line in uh, a, a strong line for Russia to pursue. So they are moving from Izium into Slovo Donetsk. Russia is blocking a Ukraine troops from North Donbass, which would be in this area. Russia is proceeding west. They're moving west from Limon, a town they captured recently. Slovo Donetsk, this area, will soon be surrounded. And we have in Kherson, so we have I'll show you Kherson and Snake Island. For some reason, the deep state are have troops there, and they're trying to uh, move in. Uh, so here's Kherson. We have Odessa. We have Crimea. We have Snake Island right here. And we have... Uh, deep state uh, special forces inside their fighting. So we don't know uh, from which NATO nation they're from. Okay. So, but the Ukraine military in Kherson is experiencing heavy losses. Now, on Snake Island... Russia has put in an S-400 anti-aircraft system for some reason. There's something going on with that island. We remember a couple of weeks ago there was a huge uh, fight out there. Another one. All right. So Russia 
is in control of Odessa and Snake Island. And yes, and they want to put in their second land bridge to Tranista right here. Now, this is in, something's going on with Turkey. Turkey no longer wants to be referred to as Turkey, but Turkey, nah. Okay. So Turkey offered to Ukraine to go into, here we have Odessa. Turkey offered to Ukraine to go in to demine uh, the this Black Sea, um, the sea area, so the uh, uh, grain could be shipped out of this area. And of course, Ukraine said no, because Ukraine is under the control of the deep state, and the deep state is waging some kind of fight in this area. So we have... All right, so that's going on with our news in uh, Ukraine. Russia is moving forward. All right, let's move on to sci-fi. And we have what's going on. Okay, we have Galactic Talk. This will be Jane Decode. I'll link this uh, show on Galactic Talk for you. Jude Code was going over some uh, different species, what they look like, where they're from, and he was talking about an event that happened in Russia, Tunguska, that happened in 1908. And it had always been believed that it was some kind of meteor that exploded in the air and gave something like an EMP effect and took out 60 million trees and affected 50 million square miles of land. But no, now Gene comes out with this. It was actually two non-terrestrial species fighting, the Ten Gray and the Maitre fighting one another. And then they had some groups who were going to come in to try and resolve the war, Planadians and Dorsey, and the Ten Gray and Maitre destroyed both of those uh, peacekeepers coming in and one of the peacekeeping uh, ships was carrying what Jean calls holy rocks and uh, they were being taken by a religious group they have uh, strange inscriptions on them and they have begun to be uh, discovered since 2008. Now these holy rocks, what God showed me about crystals uh, is that they were faceted and could hold a lot more information and we know that they have an inherent frequency also. So this term holy is referring to a type of crystalline uh, structure that can hold a lot more information. Not only digital information, but thoughts and feelings and music and other things. Okay. Now, so that's going on. And Gene is saying the Alliance in 1987... That's when the White Hats were beginning. Our, uh, in 1987, began working with the Intergalactic uh, uh, Confederation and the Galactic Federation of Worlds. And they were helping uh, humans with the non-terrestrial species that were here on Earth, working in the deep underground areas, doing genetic manipulation 
And one of the groups they helped were the Zeta Reticuli, who now have been returned genetically to a position of being able to reproduce their own species in a natural way. So, that's good. We thank you, Jesus. I know a lot of us are having a hard time accepting the fact that there are other species in the world, but I believe there is. Okay. Now, Awakening Cosmic Reality with Alina Kopolnik, uh, who was a former super soldier. Did some remote viewing, and this had to do with NORAD. That's the North American Aerospace uh, Defense Command. They can launch weapons and also detect weapons. Uh, they have locations in Alaska, Canada, Colorado Springs, I believe that's where President Trump is spending a lot of time. Yeah, and they began in 1967. Okay, so Alina uh, was doing remote viewing, and what she found out is this NORAD has a plasma, plasma net around Earth. That can detect ET ships coming in. It was built in the 40s, operational in the 50s. And they monitor Earth and cities and nations, plane, trains, automobiles. And they, can, they have computers that operate with uh, virtual and also holographic data. They have a dedicated computer that does nothing except monitor ET ships, you know, coming around the Earth. And that Earth has what we see in the sci-fi movies, a docking station. And NORAD is down thousands of feet, a secret three-letter agencies. Monitor the negative ETs, Draco, Reptilians, Greys, who are also engaged in genetic manipulation of humans. Now, a lot of these negative... Um, Groups are engaging in uh, kidnapping of humans, uh, genetic manipulation, hybrids, organ harvesting. And she said for the most part, uh, the large number of the negative ETs, the Draco, Reptilian, Greys, are off of the earth. But she said... Down deep, there are still 5 to 10%. And we know that that agrees with information from Gene Decode about the ongoing uh, efforts by the Alliance and multiple militaries to go down deep. They're still engaged in that. And that there have been captured, crashed ET ships. Yeah, and we know that the military's been doing uh, back engineering. Uh, Dr. Greer was told by the military intel that they have the ET tracker computers at NORAD. And Elena is commenting, uh, we heard in a recent con congressional hearing, but then I've made this statement, Congress is not meeting, that there was no computer to track ETs, but that was false information. All right. And she's talking about the Uvalde school shooting, saying that all of the law enforcement vehicles that responded to the Uvalde school shooting had Illuminati symbols on them. And that the Uvalde school shooting was a distraction from the Durham report about what went on in the November 2020 event. Now, 
I'll link this for you also because I've heard something about this recently. And this has to do what they call in Mexico Chumpa Cabra. Now, uh, apparently these, uh, uh, it's like an animal, it's some kind of hybrid, was first seen also in Puerto Rico and then Mexico. There's a lot of recent reports, and I'm talking about the last 10 to 20 years, okay, in the 1990s. And uh, Dabo 77 has a picture of one that appeared on the uh, camera outside the Amarillo, Texas Zoo. Yeah, it's obviously, and I had learned recently that this Chapa Cabra is a, a hybrid animal human that had been made in the deep underground areas. So, there's one that's been caught on a camera, and I'll link that for you. A lot of times we want to say, no, no, these things are not real, but they are real. So, the best way to deal with our world is to know what is really going on. Okay, heads up. This new section God began a few weeks ago. Okay. So we have Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoon, uh, formerly with the CIA, now as the ministry, um, and regularly meets with the Pentagon. He gets a lot of inf good information because he's still doing uh, translations of ancient Hebrew texts. Okay, talking about Gil Broussard and Planet X. And I'm... Um, very familiar with, with uh, Gill's information. Okay. Now, Stephen is saying what he's learning from the Pentagon is the government is tracking three systems and they are using the Vatican's Lucifer uh, telescope from Arizona. And uh, so there is some thought that we may see something soon okay now Stephen's information is uh, that we're going to see something or some system in 2025 to 26 uh, December to January so at the end of 2025 or at the end of 2029 and he's thinking that Gil Broussard's information about Planet X may be correct. We know it's supposed to be much larger. We're going to see it in the sky, according to Gil. And it's going to appear much larger than the moon. And uh, Stephen is talking about Mike from around the world, right? And I'll link that for you. I think that was last week on Pastor Paul Begley's a Thursday night show that Mike from around the world was talking about, here's the sun, an object coming around from behind the sun. Now, Gene Dakota has been talking about something that we could see in the sky soon. All right. Also, so Stephen is saying that the military um, is planning to use different types of weapons. So they're talking about using uh, uh, different types of weapons to deflect uh, these systems coming around that could affect the Earth. And what Stephen is saying is this object could be three quarters the size of Earth. And the military is concerned about reptilian ETs being on uh, this object coming around the sun. I've heard that from other sources. Okay. Now, Pastor Paul Begley is saying that Mike from around the world, yeah, reported that last week. And 
Again, uh, Judy Byington and other sources are talking about China spreading out their military. So we have that going on. Now, yeah, but uh, so in the last two years, according to Mike from around the world, uh, this object has been uh, able to be seen from the Arctic. And that uh, it can, it doesn't appear to be a natural uh, object because it speeds up and slows down. And its gravi gravitational pull or push varies just like a not natural object and it can cloak itself. All right. But a mic from around the world believes that we will see the object soon. So as I said, it's going to be a hot, hot summer, isn't it? But who's in charge? That would be God. Now, we also have a heads up. Uh, this is a report from Sherry Ray, Real Raw News, about 12,000 illegals at the Texas border. The White Hats are organizing U.S. militias to respond. General Berger of the Joint Chiefs uh, wants to begin an immediate arrest of all the black hats that have been arrested to date. And we say, bring it, Father. Yes, let's go get those bad guys. All right, now we're into... Uh, look ahead, because we want something going on. Uh, Judy Byington is saying that the alliance is moving to gold back, and that, that uh, correlates to what God said was truth about uh, Jim Willie's information about the golden dragons and the white dragons. Okay. And no one knows when the codes are going to be put into the machines to bring the satellites and quantum financial system online. Judy Byington is reporting that Charlie Ward was told recently by the DOJ and the uh, DOD that there's going to be a quantum financial system silence until June 15. On June 7, Mark Z reports that Banks ask him, don't make any reports about bonds or Reno activities for security issues. Okay. Simon Parks, uh, this would be about two weeks ago, said that the Alliance and the banks have gone global and that the global banks are out of the control of the cabal and this enabled Russia to pursue Ukraine. We recall for the past year or so, we would see the Russian troops along the border with Ukraine and they would come up and then move back. And we didn't know why. Now we know. That's because the control of the global banks by the White Hats was in flux back and forth. but. Once they could control, were in control of all the banks, according to Simon Parks, then Russia had the red light to go into Ukraine. Simon Parks is reporting JB, the actor, will be out in June. And we say, bring it, Father, and that we're going into our new republic. Sherry Ray is saying that... Uh, President Trump, you know, uh, we want to see that on Twitter. The storm is up on us. And bring in that uh, EBS. We know the Delta Forces and Ranger Forces captured uh, Weather Mountain near Washington, D.C. a few months ago, where deep inside a mountain, the emergency broadcast system was under the control of FEMA and the Delta Forces and Ranger Forces went in and secured it for the Alliance. And we say thank you, Jesus, because 
The Alliance had to be in control of of that facility to bring forth the sequence of events we're looking for. Okay. Sherry Ray is saying that the U.S. military um, has been and will be pulling their forces from outside the U.S. to back inside the U.S. so that uh, we can implement Nasara Jasara. And that, uh, yeah, uh, Taiwan is still an open question. And we have active U.S. military are being activated to repel an invasion of the U.S. This is Sherry Bray. So she has military... Um, Intel. All right. And so, uh, just this before our prayer. This came from uh, my Facebook, and I'd like to give uh, uh, credit to Tom Hodge. America is like Andy left town, and Barney is in charge. Okay, a short prayer. We say, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, whom many call Yeshua. And we thank you, Father, that you are becoming active in helping us discern what is truth and what is not truth so that we may actively pursue our destiny for which we give thanks to you. And we ask you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to bless the United States of America and all the nations of the earth and all your people, Father, so that we may uh, do what is right in your sight and we give thanks and honor and glory to our God and may God bless America and other nations too. And we thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.